Hey guys, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. And I'm saying love and blessings to you and love and light. And thank you for the support. And if you would please just like and subscribe and even hit that notification button or even the bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I would appreciate it if you either give me a thumbs up or even leave me a comment. Um, and if you're a returning sub, thank you as always for your support, love, and light, and namaste to you too. Today, my video, again, I was in for a second one. If you didn't see my first one, it was, you know, I was, I did on a little clear the air. It wasn't really a rant, but it was basically to set the record straight. Just letting you know what I don't have time for and what I'm not going to deal with. Um, but it was just this morning I said I wanted to go ahead and make another video. But it's just like when you when you got haters, haters are always your motivators, guys. Haters are always your motivators. This when I have haters like this, it makes me want to go out and just make some more videos. Just because the fact is I know I'm about to piss you off or irritate irritate you. I'm gonna give you a reason to hate me. This might be looking pretty. <gasps> but anyway, no. But I was going to do this video today. I, I was looking at my YouTube. I was just uh, looking at current events or whatever that's going on. And then I seen this one. It says 17 signs that you're an INFJ. It's uh, introversion, intuition, feeling, and judging. And it's uh, it was a Briggs. Let me see. Because I got it pulled up. Because I had to look this up. Because when I started hearing all the stages of it. It's basically, I'm like, well, God, dog. Indigo's got the same issue. Empaths got it. Uh, introverts and extroverts have the same thing. But it's just like, um, no, I'm sorry. The first, the ish, initial for that one is introversion. So I'm, I apologize. Introversion, uh, intuition, feeling, and judging. So it's like when I seen this uh, Briggs and um, Myers, Myers Briggs type indicator. They, they did this series of tests about people, and they only got 2% of the population of the whole world that these people are like this. And it is just so amazing because it's just the fact is you, you find all these characteristics to know if you are it. And if I can, I'm going to go ahead and um, post the link down below so you guys can look this up to see if it is about yourself. Because, I mean, I, I love hearing stuff like this. I always love to read about interesting things, especially when you're learning more about yourself, because there are so many things that we go through in life, and we do, sometimes we don't understand the feelings that we're going through. You don't know sometimes, it's like when I started having these heart palpitations, when the twin flame union and stuff was going on, because you feel, usually, you, you sometimes you feel your heart in your stomach, but this one is like two separate heartbeats, like you're feeling two hearts in your, in your chest, and it can be kind of scary at sometimes, because sometimes... I wouldn't say go ahead is not my, you know, I'm not no doctor, so I don't give no kind of medical advice or anything like that. But if you feel like you're having a heart attack, please go to the hospital. If you feel like you got issues with your heart, please go to the hospital. But I already know what mine was about. So, um, because it was reoccurring all the time. And it's like I had symptoms all the way around with it. But it was just like learning all this stuff. I mean, it brought tears to my eyes. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, because there's some things that, you know, still kind of confuse me about the stuff that I'm kind of going through still. You know, there's some times where I used to be able to remember all my dreams when I used to dream. And now when I wake up, I don't remember nothing right now because I guess it's just where I'm at and my level right now, I guess in my mind of thinking, it goes way deeper than that. So it's not meant for my human brain or, what you, you know, our human response system or whatever. I'll call it human response system all up in the brain when it comes to your you know, your dreams and your thoughts and stuff like that, that, you know, sometimes bits and pieces will come out during the day for me. Um, and I remember, I'm like, oh, okay, that's what my dream was about. And it, it's just like with them, they say with the I N uh, FJs, uh, or JFs or whatever it is, I'm sorry, INFJs, uh, they, they're always trying to save people. They always want to have same for, for humanity. Um, we, we can always work in teams, but we'd rather work by ourselves. We can always get it done by ourselves. You're always willing to learn. It's like, you're very intelligent. As, it's just like me. I will pick up a book and start reading up stuff nowadays. And it's just like, my brain is soaking up so much knowledge that I love it. So it's just like so much that I read about. And it's just like, you know, you're, you're trying to find ways of 
doing it. And it's just like sometimes with those certain amount of people, as me too, um, we daydream about our future so much that sometimes we, we need that person to bring us back. Because <laughs> I, I fantasize about my future so much, but it was like I had to do that just so I can get to my next stage. So it's like a lot of times we do a daydream. And um, for INFs, it, it, it's just like they did all these studies because it was just like more and more stuff. You know, the mind is a very a curious thing that you always would love to study. It, it works so many different ways and it, it controls so many functions of our life because it's like our main source is our brain. So it, it's just like learning all these different things to know if you're an uh, you're INFJ. Um, it feels like I'm just going through the alphabet because they start talking about EMF Jews or EMF. J's or IMFJs. Oh my god, dog. So y'all got the whole daggone alphabet in here. But you know, it, it was just like, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can go ahead and um put the the uh the link down in my description down below. And I mean, because that was a really good interesting stuff to read up on. It's just knowing, you know, it was uh I think they had something to do with this uh psychiatrist that was starting to talk about it called uh her name was Carl or his name was Carl Young. Or Carol Young, Joan. So it was very interesting to know about all these things. And it's just like, I always used to wonder why I was always so tired all the time. Especially when I go out. And I, like I do these videos so much. And it's just like, when I push a lot of energy out just to, you know, to get to the world. With us, it's really tiring. It's like you have to get rest. You recuperate and that stuff like that. And I was just like, wow. You know, that's why I always, sometimes I'll sleep for, you know, one or two days if I can. You know, and I was like, oh, dog, are you depressed or nothing? You're always tired. You know, it's just, it's just the energy around us is just, sometimes it can be so tiring. And even with meaningless talks, that that's wasting power. That's wasting time, especially when you have really nothing to say. I don't like meaningless conversations. Like, how's the weather? I will give you the look of death. Don't ask me how the weather is. You know how the weather is. So, can we have something to talk about? You know, I would like to talk about some deep stuff. You know, not, you know, crazy stuff or whatever like that. That's not doesn't make any sense or not worth talking about. But, you know, and it felt good to actually know that. And it's just like, we'd rather be by ourselves. It's just like we'd rather be at a, you know, a barbecue before we want to go to bars. Rather have like a candlelight dinner before we start going out to parties and stuff like that. You know, I really don't like being around a whole group of people. And it's not, I have to practice being around them like that because it's just like when you open yourself up to something that's very unknown and you're trying to find yourself out and you're already sensitive to other people's energies and auras, which is exhausting at times. It can feel, it, it can be a blessing and a curse at the same time. But when you're already dealing with your own stuff, it could be crazy. So, I wasn't going to hold you guys up for that. I was just like, my dad, you know, I just found out some new stuff. I was just like, I wanted to share that with you guys. But, like I said, guys, go ahead and say your affirmations, meditate. Don't don't deal with nobody negative, please. If they, they put you down, tell them to stage left. <laughs> okay, if you got a YouTube channel and people leave bad comments on your, you know, you're, you're not going to have everybody that's going to like you. And I already know that not everybody's going to like me. And it, it's been a good, I can actually say it's been a really good minute before I actually had some negative comments said to me. And I was just like, I, I mean, that really, that, that really threw me for a loop this morning. It didn't bother me, but it just caught me off guard. Like, are you serious? It's Sunday. And it, it what made it, I was looking at the clock. It wasn't even nine o'clock yet. And I'm just like, people got too much time on their hands. <laughs> when you want to come at folks like that and I mean it, it's not funny when you're doing cyber bullying because I detest bullying I detest people trying to put people down I don't I don't deal I don't deal with people character like that I'm not gonna say I don't like the person I don't like the character when they come at you like that I don't so it's just like right now that I like that just gave me a Jones to want to come out and say something else positive I mean I leave my haters for my motivators because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit up here and I know I said I was going to leave, but I, I mean, that was funny to me. Because when I was leaving the other video, I was hot. I was ready to say some mess. But I'm like, you know, I'm not going to let nobody get the power, keys, keys to my, my life like that. I'm not going to give nobody power over my life like that. So I just had to say that. But I was just like, now I can look at it and start laughing. Like, are you serious? You really came at me like that? Because you really don't have nothing to do if you, you know, 
Mm-mm. But guys, when you have negative stuff come to you, please, if you, if you have, um, like, channels and stuff like that, because I know a lot of different people come to my, my channel that also have channels, too. You know, we're going to have negative comments, and we're also going to have positive comments, and both, both of them you should be able to use as a tool. As a tool. To go ahead and push yourself forward. And that's what it did. Because, I mean, ooh, it just got me tingling when I know somebody feel that way about me. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say something else. Just because I already know it's about to irritate you. Because I'm not going to stop talking. I feel good for what I say. This is my life. So I'm not going to stop that just because somebody don't like what I say. I, I'm not going to do that. If you don't feel like this is, this is you know, uh, this song is about me or this situation is not about me. It was not, it is not my job to try to convince you of anything. If you don't believe me, you don't believe me. If you do, you do. And that's all I had to tell you guys, because I'm telling you, that, that mess is funny to me. It really was. But I'm not going to hold you guys up, and I will talk to you later next on my next video. Peace, and be wild. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button if you feel free. Go ahead and drop a comment. Even though you might not see it when you drop it, but trust me, I see them first before I do that. Just because I know the negative comments will eventually come out. I was waiting for it. I knew it was going to come out sooner or later. But just drop a comment. Even hit the notification button and hit the bell when you know I'm about to upload my next video. And I will talk to you later. And I will keep you guys in my prayers. Namaste. And love and light to you. Peace. And be wild.